everyone! Hola a todos! My name is Catherine from the Cobb County Public Library and today we are on our second Hispanic Heritage Month bookmobile kit and it's about papel picado and it's this little cut papers. But first we're going to read our book and this book is about Emilia Show and Tell Fiesta and it's by Mimi Chapra, who is from Cuba, and Marta Aviles, illustrated by Marta Aviles, who is from Mexico. So let's get started. Ah. Up the steps two at a time, Amelia runs into her new school Americana. She takes a seat in front of in the front row of the class. Then Amelia leans forward, following her teacher's every word. For tomorrow's show and tell, says Miss Jenner, bring something special you'd like to share with your friends. Then everyone will have a chance to talk about their treasures. I Amelia claps her hands together. I think I understand. Now Amelia's plans, muy grandes, pull her in like the tide. For my first show and tell, I'll find something estupendo for my island home. Closing her eyes, Amelia pictures her fiesta dress, the one she wore to carnaval parade. Perfecto, she decides, and her smile stretches wider than the sea at Miramar. How beautiful! Look at all the dresses. Next morning, Amelia rises before the rooster. Looking out the bedroom window, she combs her curly hair over and over. Then carefully, she steps into her special dress. My fiesta dress has one, two, three fancy skirts, Amelia says proudly. She tries a teeny troll and her ruffled skirts flutter. First, Rojo whips around her hips like red hot peppers. Do you see her red skirt? Her drollho skirt? Amarillo swirls about her knees like a sea of yellow corn. Do you see the yellow skirt? The amarillo skirt? Blanco circles her feet like a flock of white gulls. And then finally, her white skirt, the Blanco skirt. When Mama sees Amelia looking so fine, she cries, Magnifico! And pins a gardenia in her daughter's hair. Then arm in arm, they walk to the new school. Into the class, Amelia goes, but one glance around the room and suddenly she feels foolish, like a crazy chicken, a pollo loco. Que pasa, she wonders. I'm the only one in costume. Over in the next seat, Parvati asks, what did you bring? Bring, Amelia frowns. My fiesta dress. No, I mean, what did you bring for the show and tell basket? Hmm, I don't understand, Amelia says in a teeny voice. Parvati points to the teacher's table. Amelia sees a basket brimming with unusual things. 
Cradled in straw sits Parvati's clay elephant from India, Moyo's handmade truck, and Akio's harp shaped kite. Look at all the beautiful things that all the children brought for their show and tell. Now, her fiesta dress doesn't seem special. Not anymore. It can be put into a basket and passed around and touched like the other terrific toys. <gasps> Caramba, Amelia sighs. I want to go home. Suddenly, she hears Miss Jenner call her name. I mistake muy grande. I brought nothing for show and tell. Standing in front of everyone, empty-handed, she freezes. Amelia, the teacher says softly, tell us about your beautiful dress. Amelia starts to move away. Then suddenly, whoosh! Her skirts whisper and stir up her senses. Amelia remembers tropical breezes. Tropical breezes that made her palm tree sway. Finding her voice, she has something to say. La, 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 bamba. Amelia sings, On my island home, we love fiestas. Looking up, she sees curious faces. We love fiestas with dancing in the streets. And swoosh, Amelia shows her talking skirts, whirling a samba, twirling a tango, and whirling a rumba. Soon everyone hears Amelia's talking skirts swaying. They start hurrying and Amelia feels at home right here in America. And this story has ended. Este cuento ya se acabó. So, you know, I said earlier that we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, which celebrates many cultures um, from Latin America and the people. And today we're doing papel picado, and this is from Mexico. And we use this papel picado to decorate for many occasions like uh, Dia de Muertos, birthdays, anniversaries, the Day of Independence. And this one's an example of somebody who used the piñata right here. And then they decorated the surrounding areas with the papel picado in different colors. And it's just such a bright decoration. And I have some examples right here that were made um, by somebody else. And this one has a cactus and a, a burn. And this one has a sun. And today you're going to be doing your own papel picado. So in our kits, we have the instructions and what you need so also in the kits you'll get a piece of tissue paper and a piece of yarn and then what you're going to need on your side is some tape and some scissors and if you need help with the scissors Ask for, um, ask your grown up for help, okay? So we're gonna take our tissue paper and we're gonna fold it in half. And then we're gonna hold, fold it in half one more time. And then guess what? Yes, we're going to fold it in half one more time, but we're going to fold it down like this to make a square. 
like this. So now, this is when you're probably going to need a grown-up to help you, okay? If you need a grown-up to help you, you can always use a marker or a pen or pencil to draw all draw the shapes that you want um, for your grown-up to cut for you, okay? So we're gonna cut out different shapes around the square, but we're never going to cut the edges, okay? Let's not cut the edges, this four edges right here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so now that we have our different shapes cut out, we're going to open it and see what our design looks like. And this is my design. Now that you have this done, you're gonna want to use your yarn to tape it on the edge like this and then you'll be able to hang this or put it on the wall as decorations so easy so now that we all have our papel picado we can use them to decorate for different celebrations or if you want to, you can make some more with um, just regular paper, notebook paper. Um, you can use whichever type of paper to make your own. So that is all for today. And we will see you for next time for our last Hispanic Heritage Kit. Bye. Adios.